The world is a mysterious place, waited to be explored. The same could be said for space, but at the same time for the human body. We do have a lot of answered questions, but a lot of mysteries need to be solved. So one of the research topics that I was always fascinated about was a certain type of food that is given to people that have some sort of chronic illness or disease. People with insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes have a certain diet that they have to follow. But one of these foods that I was exploring was actually the food that I'm consuming on a daily basis. For myself, I do consume a lot of coffee. But not just regular coffee, it is actually chicory root, which is a type of plant that is rich in inulin, a carbohydrate that is very interesting, that cannot be directly degraded by enzymes and it travels through the digestive tract. It has a lot of benefits for the gastrointestinal tract, for the bacteria, but at the same time it has its benefits for the people that have cardiovascular issues. It was, this was a lot of research that I was reading on, but um, a lot of these things I wanted to try to see how can I do the tests. But now with uh, technology and with uh, specific laboratory techniques that can be used for this research, I wanted to do and develop biological and analytical techniques to analyze specific foods in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So this would mean to do a specific series of tests on foods and do a series of treatments to see if we can get the right answer for anti-inflammatory, antioxidative, antimicrobial, and a set of analytical techniques for determining the presence of inulin and some other substances. The presence of inulin, but with a powerful analytical technique, I was planning to analyze it using the quadruple time of flight mass spectrometry, or QTOF, a state-of-the-art device that can analyze substances down to one billionth of a gram. This means if I can take some of the food that is being sold in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where most of the people have it affordable, I want to see if I can test that these types of foods really do have a great health benefit. And for future studies, to try and implement this on a variety of clinical studies and to have different sets of these experiments prepared.